Now, getting back to our top story this morning, Catholics around the world are celebrating the choosing of their new spiritual leader. Cardinals elected Pope Francis, former Archbishop of Buenos Aires, and Toronto's uh, Cardinal Thomas Collins, Archbishop of Toronto, was there throughout the papal procedure and joins us now on the phone from Rome. Uh, Your Eminence, uh, I know you're uh, sworn to secrecy, but perhaps you could describe the atmosphere in the Sistine Chapel. Was it um, anticipatory? Was it solemn? What was it like? Well, anyway, it's certainly very solemn because this is a solemn event. But it's a tremendous joy, you know, it's a joy when we, uh, you know, as it says when the, the, the cardinal comes out on the balcony and says, I announce your news of great joy, we have a pope. And so, of course, we experience that first. We're the ones uh, who have that, that, uh, that great sense of joy. And that, that's, I think, was profound, moving, uh, very prayerful. And, uh, and ultimately, you know, just uh, it leads into this great joy. Do you know this gentleman, uh, the, the pope, uh, personally? I don't know him personally. I know Colonel Turcott actually was staying at the same residence in Rome as, uh, as uh, the, new, the new Pope. Uh, and uh, so um, I... Uh I, but I don't know, and he's known him for about 20 or 30 years. I've, I've heard of it. I know people who know him. I've obviously been talking with people about him, uh, and I've read about him, but I, I don't know him personally. In, in terms of uh, descriptors that we're hearing, he's a back-to-basics man. How, how do you think that uh, will lead the church in the future? Well, I think it, that's very important, you know. Uh, he's just, a, from what I've heard of him, everything I've read about him, and, uh, and people who know him say he's just a very simple man, very down-to-earth, uh, and a uh, very loving pastor. And the people love him in Buenos Aires, from what I hear. And, of course, as a, as a bishop, we look around, we look to other bishops we can admire, who are, um, you know, people who are showing how to be a pastor of the people, how to be a shepherd of the people, and he certainly is like that. And, uh, I was coming back in the taxi from the uh, um, from the place in Santa Martha. We were staying back to the place I normally stay, and I said, "What do you think of the new pope?" To the taxi driver, who's a Roman, uh, you know, from from his diocese, and he said, "Ah, well, well, mortal sympathico," and I think that's, uh, that sums it up pretty well. Yeah, kind of a good guy. Uh, And yet, uh, he's not somebody that was necessarily uh, intimate with the Curia. And a lot of people uh, say that the Church needs reformation, not only on the sexual abuse uh, scandals, but also the Curia and the administration. Uh, How will he lead that? And and those early decisions on how that happens, happen today. He's going to select the staff. Well, he'll, he certainly will be selecting a staff, but I think it'll take him quite some time to do that. I think what they do is they should, everyone gets reappointed sort of medically, or he would start to do it, and then he would start, you know, you have to have someone running the thing, and then eventually he will make his choices. Uh, but I think that's obviously, but he's run a huge diocese. Uh, he's a man of prayer, a simple man, a loving man, but he's also a run an enormous diocese in, in uh, Buenos Aires, and so he, he knows how to uh, deal with issues of governance, which is also an issue. One of the one of the things the Pope deals with, not the only thing, but a very important thing. If you were to get his ear, what would you advise him? Well, I think I don't know what I want to advise the the Holy Father about anything, but I, I I think I just I did just simply when I went up to meet him. One of the reasons it takes so long before he comes on the balcony is that all the cardinals go up to meet him privately, personally. And I just gave him my best wishes from the people of Toronto and uh, from Canada, and our prayers are with him. And he said, "Well, thank you. I really appreciate your prayers." He's a man of first, uh, not only in name, uh, in, in that he's um, uh, Francis I, and, and that's symbolic as much as anything else, but he's also the first Jesuit, and Jesuits are known as being intellectuals, but also uh, judicial. Do you think that that colors his papacy? Well, I'm sure that his, uh, he will, his Jesuit tradition, uh, the nation's spiritual formation, will be uh, very important in his life, and therefore in his ministry. It uh, always has been. Everyone takes a different, uh, has a different uh, a spiritual style, you might say, and the Jesuit style is one of the great ones in the Church. Yeah, and, and oh, sexual abuse uh, uh, haunted the last papacy. Uh, are we going to get through that in the near term? Oh, well, I mean, I think that I think we really have to be always very, very careful in case any people in the church do anything wrong and, and hurt other people. That has to be just absolutely uh, crucial to who, who we are. Uh, and that, that then also, of course, leads into the, the fundamental mission we have, which is to bring the good news of our Lord to others. And so I think this will be something that we just, uh, there are all kinds of things in place which are greatly to the credit of Pope Benedict, who really uh, dealt with these, uh, setting these things up and beginning the a lot of that, that work. And I think... Uh, uh, Pope, uh, Pope Francis will, I'm sure he'll continue with that and uh, be sure that, that that issue is really treated very, very carefully and very seriously. But it is, it, is not the, it is one of the important issues, but there are many, many other ones which face us in evangelizing the world. 
Your Eminence, uh, your name came up on the short list, at least the, maybe not on the A list, but on the B list. And I know the Toronto Catholics were very proud of you uh, uh, for getting it to that kind of a, a level. But how did you feel when you didn't get selected? <laughs> Well, that stuff, all kinds of things. You get all these, these, all these lists and stuff, are, are, they're kind of entertaining, but uh, they're kind of interesting, you know, but I mean, really, they don't have much to do with the, the whole reality. It's just a beautiful thing to have our wonderful Holy Father, Pope Francis. Yeah. Well, safe travels, Your Eminence. Thanks very much for okay. joining us. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We've been joined on the line from Rome by Cardinal Thomas Collins, Archbishop of Toronto.